Tis the season for what exactly? A lot of things. The end of that line or next line would be to be jolly, I guess. That might be the first thing that pops into your head. You go to a grocery store these days, though, the Salvation Army Red Kettle might be the first thing you see or hear, and you'll keep seeing them until Christmas Eve. Reason? It's their biggest fundraiser of the year. And by the latest numbers, though, they're actually down about $10,000 so far, which could impact the local services they provide to families in need. Here's Andrew Barline. It's not the warmest time of the year to be hanging out in a Walmart parking lot. Uh, but Mark Cauley, pretty well. he wants to be here with his bell and his kettle, all to collect some coins. That's why I had to put my sunglasses back on. How else can I be a star? The money doesn't do anything to help Mark directly. Uh, be, safe, be safe. But the cause helps Mark know why he does this. Now, for the second straight year. There's just more programs that need uh, funding than I could ever go into. Programs that the Salvation Army says are a necessity. In the last year and a half, um, we're really, our, our focus is shifting to working, to helping working families in our community that are struggling with the raising, rising prices of cost of living, with rent, gas, uh, utilities, food. Um, and so the Salvation Army could be there to help them get over this hurdle. Major Thomas Stambaugh says those hurdles are becoming more common. And in Ada County alone, the Salvation Army is helping more than 200 new families each month. So these are the things that are hitting uh, working families in our community. And so uh, we're, we are listening to those concerns and our staff are working hard to make sure we can provide the best assistance we can for them. The Red Kettle makes this assistance possible. 170,000 to 200,000 is our kettle goal. And as it currently stands, the Red Kettle's behind $10,000. The impact is, well, in the new year, we'll have to do some re, like most businesses will do, is sit in front of their budget and see what, how we can rework some things and still provide service, but maybe not to the capacity that we'd like to, um, and see how other we can address those needs. But the Salvation so. Army isn't giving up quite yet. No. Those red kettles are out till Christmas Eve. Some people don't realize is the money stays in the city and the county of wherever we happen to be working. And if needed, those bells will get a few extra rings. I'm supposed to take breaks. I take sometimes. So they they get extra time from me, so yeah. I don't mind. Is there anything you want 24 different storefront locations have openings for volunteers, which really puts into perspective the sort of widespread need for people to go out there and ring those bells for the kettles. And Brian, I didn't actually know this until today. I figured they were all volunteers. It's actually some people are hired out through a temp agency yeah. to do this at times, too. So ideally, it would all be volunteers. That's just not possible. They're right. actually having to hire some people out now. So it's, it's a little bit different. So taking some money in, but also taking putting some money out to get that money to come in. It and must be an investment that's worth it if they're doing that, correct? Sure. And yeah. I know a lot of those bell ringers take some pride in how much money they can bring in and, you know, get a little animated and show some character and stuff. So maybe if you're one of those people, you could be ringing that bell and helping the Salvation Army raise some money. Hopefully. Right. Thanks, Andrew.